Hey guys, welcome to Deep South Outdoors. This here's my first video, and I think today we're going to be looking for otters. And I'm going to show you the different signs and how to go about finding them. They are really hard to find, so let's start looking for some signs, and I'll see if we can't find some. Okay, I found some signs here. This here's what we call an otter slide. It's where they're sliding up and down this bank here, they're kind of crossing. And they're going back up into this slough and if you look real closely you can find like droppings a lot of times they'll have a lot of scales in them and all and it's kind of like how they mark their scent and stuff and also they know this here is their slide and they'll use it quite frequently as you can see we're going to continue looking down this way here see if we can't find some more different slides different signs and all Let's see. Let's just kind of look back and forth. The ground's still kind of wet. It's hard to see. Everything kind of wet looking. It's got to blends in with everything. Okay, right here is where they've been di pulling up a bunch of weeds and stuff and all about this pond. And they're dragging it somewhere. You can kind of see it's kind of muddy. It's got a little bit of droppings on it, but like they marked it. There's a stick here that they've been chewing on. They've cut. Otters do do this and stuff, not just beavers. Um, they're kind of dragging this stuff somewhere. So there's probably a little home somewhere. I'm pretty sure I could find it. And right here, some more droppings before it goes into this really thick area. Here, I'm going to continue looking, see if I can't find possibly their home. I'm kind of being careful not to leave my scent on anything because we don't want to scare them off. Just kind of walk down this little trail here, see if we can't find something. Okay, I think I might have found something right here. See if we can't go through all these bushes and weeds and stuff here. Okay, right here looks like where the one's been digging. They actually live in the ground up underneath tree roots. Uh, just wherever they can find a little shelter type area, they'll drag all kinds of limbs, sticks, mud, and kind of make a nest. You can kind of see where he's been. Right here is where he's been digging and stuff. He goes inside this hole here. Normally they have an escape holes. It's kind of like a, I don't know if you could tell, kind of like a mound. Here, so I'm sure there's going to be more holes around here because they have more than one area where they like to have like an escape route and all. I don't know if you can see but there's a little hole here that's kind of covered with leaves and it's right here is where he was digging and stuff and all and then a little escape hole here so I know this is going to be a real good area. You can kind of look back over here some kind of like a little Blue like thing or a little swampy area. He kind of catches little fish and crayfish and stuff and all in these little pockets of water. And you kind of see where he's got a lot of areas to hunt and stuff back up in here. But this here's a little hole where I know is a home and on. I'm not going to stay around here too long. I don't want to leave too much sick because maybe they'll have little kits in there and all before too much longer. It's late February, probably next month, probably the first of April. They'll wind up having 
little babies and stuff and everything. So let's go. Let's go look for some more signs.